What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and I'm feeling a little rusty. This video that you guys are watching right now at the time of this recording is my first video back. Now, I don't know when this will be released, but this is my first real day back in the building since the Colorado trip, and I am whooped. Incredible, amazing trip that just went above and beyond my own expectations and is going to do a lot for not only the House of Masks, but the hobby as a whole. And boy, oh boy, are you guys going to be excited. But we absolutely killed it every single day that we were there. And I drove 18 hours to get there and 18 hours back. So I am exhausted. With that being said, I am way too excited to get on into the pieces that I had waiting once I got home to not start shooting immediately. So I've already edited and uploaded two videos. Now I'm working on this one. And like I said, I don't know when this is going to come out. So this may be a little out of order, but I really, really wanted to shoot this one. So I'm shooting it first. Now obviously we are in front of the guar section so you know what that means. We've got a guar score in today's video but not just a guar score yet another stage used guar score and this one is old school. So needless to say I'm pretty excited about what's in this package and not only is there one stage used score but there are multiple stage used scores. So we have a package here from my buddy Chris. I have purchased pretty much the entirety of his collection minus a few pieces here and there and we are sticking with that theme because today I have I I think probably the last stage used piece that he had in his collection. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that he wanted to keep this for sentimental reasons and I forgot that he even had it until he messaged me about a week ago and said, hey, do you wanna buy this? For an extremely good price at that, so clearly I jumped all over it and now I am very excited to get on into the package and see what we've got. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Looks like the tape got pretty jacked up on this thing, so hopefully everything inside is all right. The box doesn't look squished or anything like that, so we will see. All right, packing paper. Here we've got, oh, the items are just rolling out of the package. Make sure there's nothing else in there. All right, so I'll set the big piece to the side for now. Stuff is just falling out. What we've got first are going to be some stage used eyeballs and I know that that's weird because what did these come from and honestly I can't tell you but I can tell you that they are definitely real war items and they have definitely seen some use they've probably been used with multiple eyeball gore scenes over the years so it's hard to tell what celebrity or creature monsters whatever these belong to but I can tell you that they were given from Dave to Jameson and then later sold by Jameson to Chris and now they are in my collection just some cool little random pieces that don't quite fit in or match anything else in my collection so they are definitely unique and they will stand out amongst the shelves filth the shelves so that is what's up first it also came with this little box I think that they came in this box or maybe this one came in this box with one of Jameson's stage used picks I don't have this pick yet, so that'll be a nice one to add to one of my empty slots in my little pick collector displays. But yeah, that is just the appetizer. So we'll go ahead and set these guys to the side, clear the table here, and get ready for the big score. This one is super, super cool, and it actually took a little bit of detective work to realize when this was used, who it was sculpted by, etc. But I got to the bottom of it. So let's go ahead and see what we've got in this nasty bag that's all stained up and dirty and gross. I'm assuming that's from the prop, but we will see. And now here's a word from our sponsor. Uh, no, I never said that we weren't related. I said that we weren't related close enough for the baby to come out retarded. God, oh, um, sorry about that. Uh, hey you. Me? Yeah, you. Do you like Guar scores? Yeah. Can't seem to get any yourself? Nope. Do you like AJ Good? Eh, no, not really. I kind of think the guy's a cock. Too bad, because Guar does. And guess what? If you want to keep seeing all these amazing Guar scores up close and in person, you're going to have to do what I tell you. Uh, okay. What if I told you that Don Draculich, better known as Sleazy P. Martini, or Bozo Destructo, was starting a YouTube channel about all things guar? He's gonna be doing everything from live streams and videos showing you guys how to make these props and masks, interviews with old band members, interviews with current band members, interviews with new band members, interviews with people that aren't in the band. Don is going to be bringing us everything guar. He's gonna do Q&As, answering your questions 
about Guar, telling his own stories from back in the day, you name it, this channel will have it as long as it's Guar related. And the best thing is, this is just a middle point for something else that he's working on in the future. So if you guys want to keep seeing cool Guar stuff on this channel, what's the name of this channel? Okay, the House of Masks, then go over to Don's new channel. The link will be in the description. Subscribe, comment on a video, and let him know that the fucking influences sent you, and he's gonna keep returning the favor and sending over cool Guar stuff for AJ to unbox. Pause this video right now, head over there, check out Don's stuff. This channel is going to be a wet dream for Guar fans. Do it now or else. Well, what if I don't? <laughs> what if you don't? And now back to your regularly scheduled program. We've got a stage used decap head and some other little random pieces that look like they have fallen off over the years because this thing is old. Definitely one of the older pieces in my Guar collection now. This thing was created in 92 or 93 by Matt McGuire. He is the one that sculpted it, and it was used for a very select decap scene. It was a triple decap scene, which is very, very uncommon. And I just can't imagine seeing a triple decap scene at a Guar show. I've seen two decap scenes where two people on stage get decapitated at the same time and they spray everywhere, but I've definitely never seen a triple. I just feel like that would be blood overload and very, very cool, but essentially, these guys are just guar hating Nazis. They are up on stage, they all get decapitated, blood goes everywhere, everybody has a good time. This one is a very cool piece because it's definitely that old school crude sculpting and he's got guar carved in his forehead which for some reason just makes this super, super rad to me. But he's a very, very disturbing piece. This old school crude gross guar just adds so much to guar for me. I would much, much rather see old props and videos and such from the early 90s than I would anything in the last 10 or 15 years. It just got too clean and too professional and there was something about this old crude stuff that helped it look so gross. It was definitely a whole different dimension of guar back then and I really, really like it. So when Chris offered me this, I had to jump all over it, especially for the price. I cannot explain to you guys how good of a deal he gave me on this and he threw in these fun little bonus pieces which are always cool to add to the collection so I'll lay all of these guys out let you take a look at everything together and that will pretty much do it for this video now as always I will go ahead and leave you guys with some nice up close shots of these pieces so that you can see all of the beautiful beautiful detail then we will add them to the guar collection and show them off there as well and then I think in the future I'm gonna have to do another guar update video the collection has been rearranged and although I've covered that in my new series, Weekly Wednesday Updates, I haven't gone in depth with the Guar collection itself. I've just kind of shown off what I made changes to. But there are quite a few new items since the last Guar collection update video, so I think that I'm going to have to knock one of those out in the very near future. And that should be pretty cool. If this wasn't quite your jam, trust me, I have some cool stuff coming up. Slipknot masks, ring worn and screen used WWF slash WWE items, and then a bunch of shit from the Colorado trip. So just pay attention, stay Stay tuned, you guys are going to love everything that is coming up, I can guarantee that. And yeah, let's go ahead and close this video down, show these guys off, and get out of here. So with all that being said, thank you guys very, very much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. If you don't mind, go ahead and drop a like and maybe even a comment on this video, it would greatly help me out. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to a little head. And we will see you guys in the next one.